Hey guys, welcome back for the weekly updates. And today I'm going to be looking at Bitcoin BTC USD from Bitstamp. And I'm going to go through all the time frames from the monthly to the four hours. So we start on the monthly and we can see the general trend is up uh, like always. So Bitcoin is generally going up. The three moving averages are uptrending and in sequence. They have always been like, like this on a monthly scale. So not much to worry about this, uh, about this time frame. Uh, another thing is that the price is touching uh, the 20-month moving average, which is very, very, very significant, is a very significant and very strong moving average. Also, uh, also we, are, we are due for a bounce here. And so I don't think the price is going below the 20 month moving average, at least for the time being. I, I'm anticipating a bounce here with like there's a very high probability that the price is going to bounce on the 20 um, on the 20 month moving average, even if in the future will break below at which we don't know. I'm not saying that's going to happen or it's even probable. But even if that was going to happen uh, in the future, for the time being, the most probable, <clears throat> very probable, is that the 20-month uh, moving average holds and bounces the price. And if it doesn't bounce the price, at least, <clears throat> at least holds the price at this level. If we look in the past, uh, never before the price went below the 20-month moving average like there was nothing there. It took several months to break below it and it only breaks below it uh, during the last capitulation phase of a bear market here it's not clear we are, like i mean there's no signs that we are that we are in a bear market or that we are going to enter a bear market there's no signs yet this is just a consolidation consolidation period here from this uh, top here at 66000 more or less uh, it's just really been consolidating with high volatility, but it's been basically going sideways. So we don't have a downtrend here. We can't, we can't be calling uh, for a bear market here, at least not yet. And yes, like I said, the 20 month, the 20 month moving average usually either bounces the price or it, or it holds the price there. The price doesn't go below the 20 month moving average like there was nothing there. So and because we are due for a bounce, I think we're bouncing from here and we're going to go we're going to be going back up to between 40 and 50 thousand dollars. And then we'll, if that happens, then we'll have to take it from there. Moving on to the weekly. So on the weekly also, we almost touch the 100, uh, 100 week moving average, which is the yellow moving average. This one is not as significant as the 20 month moving average. But generally, the four moving averages are still uptrending and in sequence. All of them, we didn't even have a cross on the, um, the 50 and the 20 uh, week moving average yet. So again, no reason uh, to call for a bear market. Now, this is a double top, which is a reversal pattern, which is calling for a, for a trend reversal, which we had already we've been for around three months down trending so this is not yet a w pattern or an inverse w i should say we would have to go below twenty eight thousand uh, for this to be an inverse w pattern uh, which is also a reversal pattern uh, and a bearish uh, bearish pattern uh, if if 28,000 was to break, which is the lowest here in the middle, if that was to break, the target for this inverse W would be absurdly low. So it would be, so if the top was at 67,000 and the bottom of this pattern is at 28,000, the, the bearish target would be 13,000, which is this peak here actually. 13,000 it's like just too low to to call for it like I mean it, it's just in my view very very unlikely uh, that the price of Bitcoin would go that low not impossible I mean crypto markets are crazy and we've seen 80 and 90 percent corrections several times however this is not the structure of the classic 
Bitcoin top. Like this top, like this top, like this top, and another one more we had in the past. In 2010, there was another top. Like these two and like this one here. The difference between these tops here and the current top is that when we reach the top of the barrel, the price crashes in a matter of minutes. It doesn't give you two months to get out of your positions. Okay, it's just, it touches the top and it just crashes right there. In this case here, look how many, these are the weekly candles. So two months there, like trying to break. And here, like one month at the top, <clears throat> usually top of the markets don't give you one month to exit your positions. It, it'll just crash immediately. So this doesn't look like a top of the bubble, uh, you know, for, for Bitcoin. Of course, patterns don't have to continue to repeat forever. It could be a top and we could go into a better market. There's, it's not impossible. However, it would be the first time that we see this type of top uh, in Bitcoin cycles. I hope it's clear what I'm trying to explain here. So RSI, it's also extended down. Like basically every, everything is calling for a bounce. Um, even if it's just a relief bounce and then we take it from there, <clears throat> it could be the local top or, or it could be only a bounce. For me, I'm leaning more to the to the side of consolidation here. I think the price is just consolidating at this level, which I mean, it's normal after such vertical race here. It needs to like, you know, consolidate for some time before it can resume its way up. So I think we are not entering a bear market. We are just on a period of, of, of long consolidation after such vertical move here. Moving on to the daily. The daily looks bearish, uh, but again, overdue for a bounce. So why is it bearish? Well, because it's been in a downtrend for like three months. Price is below all moving averages, and that's a bearish trend. And in technical analysis, you need to follow the trend until the end when it bends. However, we are overdue uh, for a bounce, like I said, because it's already uh, it's been uh, going down for a very, very long. So I would anticipate a bounce here back up to like more or less 45,000, somewhere between 40 and 50,000. And then we'll see if the price is able to get above the 50, uh, the 50 day moving average. Uh, it's going to find a lot of resistance in this area here between 40 and 50,000. So we're going to we're just going to have to to wait and, and see and see what happens and see how, how the price action develops. But for now, I think we are overdue for a bounce here. And going on the four hours, uh, well, yeah, it looks like this was the local bottom. Uh, we had capitulation here, a big spike of red volume, and uh, again, a big spike, a spike of red volume and then two big spikes of green volume signaling a reversal. So this looks very much, it looks to me we're bouncing here. This was the local top. By the way, we called for, for a 30,000 target. The price didn't touch 30,000 on Bitstamp. The lowest was at uh, 33,000. But yeah, we called for, for this bearish break. Um, here on the members area, I have the Bitcoin uh, video that I made on the 7th of January, so like 20 days ago, 18 days ago. Bearish target 30k, uh, you can see the title here, 7th of January. Um, medium term bearish target at 30k when the price was at 42k. So that was our target from like almost one month ago or three weeks ago. And I think that's it. It didn't reach the target. It didn't touch 30,000, but it was closing off at 30, 33,000 on beta stamp. And I think that's the local, uh, the local bottom. And from here, we are bouncing. We are bouncing. Uh, approximate, approximate number is 46,000. We'll have to take it day by day uh, and continue to, 
you know, to the, to do technical analysis on it. Now, I was commenting, I, I said before, I think this is just an area of uh, consolidation. Here, it seems to me this will consolidate and stay above, <coughs> excuse me, stay above the 20 month moving average and just consolidate around this level until it's ready to, to continue the uptrend. Uh, however, if we see capitulation, then I would anticipate the price to go to the 50 month moving average. That's, that would be around $20,000, although $20,000 would be a little bit too obvious because it's the previous peak uh, of the previous bubble. Like It would be like too expected. If the price goes below $30,000, I think everyone would expect $20,000 to retest the top of this bubble. Uh, markets are not that obvious, so I would like, I mean, who knows? We, we're going to have to wait and see, but I think 20,000 would be too obvious. I think it would bounce before, like at 26,000 or something like that, just so that orders don't get filled here. Uh, but yeah, like I said, it seems to me we are in a period of consolidation. The only thing that has me confused, because uh, a lot of people now is asking, are we in a bear market? Are we, are we, are we entering a bear, full, on, full on bear market? Uh, many people are concerned about this, which is bullish if we, if we look at market sentiment. But on the other hand, I'm a little bit confused by the Bitcoin dominance. Because if you, if you uh, watched my last video here on YouTube last Tuesday, I was actually doing technical analysis on the Bitcoin dominance and the price was right at this bottom here. So it was already below these two lows here. So the logic thing, the, the logic thinking is that, okay, so if it already broke the two lows, if the price is down trending and it's below every moving average, the logic thinking is that the price is gonna go find the next obvious support. And the next obvious support on the downside was anywhere in this green area that I draw last week. But instead, instead, the price bounced, making a triple bottom. So it basically bounced like one second after I finished recording my video, because it was right at the bottom. When I was making the video, the dominance was, was right at the, at the very bottom here. So instead, instead of uh, going to find the next obvious support, what it did is bounce, uh, making a triple bottom. And triple bottoms are reversal patterns. So if this actually does reverse and starts to go up, that would be a little bit concerning because the period when Bitcoin dominance goes up <clears throat> is during crypto bear markets. And when Bitcoin dominance goes down, like in here and like in here, is during bull markets. So if this does reverse and starts to go up, it means most probably, if we look at previous, you know, past patterns, most probably is because the crypto markets are going to be bearish. So there, you know, that's like a, like a mix, mix signal there. I'm a little bit confused by, by the Bitcoin dominance. That's why I'm saying we are due for a bounce. Let's wait, let's wait, see if this bounces. Uh, or if it just stays here around the 20 month moving average and let's see what happens uh, during, the, during the, the next weeks. If this bounces hard now or next month actually, these are the monthly candles. We have around one week for this candle to close. If it does close above the 20, um, the 20 month moving average, I would anticipate a green month here, a bounce, excuse me. I would anticipate a bounce here and a green monthly candle, so a green month for next month. But like I said, there's still one week. It seems very much it's going to close above it or right on it. <clears throat> if this bounces hard here uh, during next month, then it means probably the Bitcoin dominance will be going down. And so this won't be a W pattern and it might not be a reversal pattern. That's why right now everything is a little bit confusing. We're, we're going we're gonna to have to wait uh, and see. Let's see what happens next month. Next month uh, should be interesting. So I was asked for one of, uh, of our members uh, on the private Telegram groups to do a Bitcoin 
uh, long-term cycle video uh, with my estimated targets for the end of this year and where and to explain where I think we are in the cycle and I, wa I was planning to make this video for today on YouTube but because of these mixed signals I can't really uh, do that right now I, I'm too confused <laughs> to to uh, to make a video for the long-term cycle technically uh, the top of every bubble not technically it's actually a it's been almost like really precise. Every top of the bubble happened every four years, always in uh, at the end of December, beginning of January. Uh, we have this one here, 20, December 2013, December 2017, and there, there's another one here, uh, December, 20, December 2009 or 10. So that's one that we cannot see here because we don't have the whole history of Bitcoin on, on Bitstamp, but there's, there, there was one four years before this one, and then the next one uh, four years after. And so now for the four-year cycle, we should be finding a top at the end of this year. But I can't, I, 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 I can't, um, I, ca I can't do technical analysis on that right now as things look right now. Let's let's wait and see what happens during the next one to three months is what I need here. I need three more monthly candles to see how this is going to develop. Uh, and then I might be able to get targets uh, for the end of the year. So that's all that I have for today. Thank you very much, guys, for joining me. If you're interested in joining the private groups, uh, you can find the link below. And if you're interested in free education, you can find the link below as well. Uh, you have my uh, tutorials and my courses on my website, completely free. You, you don't even have to uh, give your email, nothing. It's just open. Then just go to the website, click and watch. So thank you again for watching. See you next week. Bye.